In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and try out the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that was released on Global, but of course I'm going to be trying out on a Japanese version of the game, and the reason why is because I just had the medal sitting there to awaken this guy, so I thought, you know what, might as well just showcase him on JP, I suppose. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always, and what I'm going to do today is I'm running a Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku lead as well as the farmable Super Saiyan 3 Goku as a friend, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to get as close as possible to, um, to the global leads and what the tech type, team, tech type team is like at the moment. And at the moment, all of my units are getting a 150% stats boost. So that's like 10% more than a double Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks lead. So it's close enough and hopefully I will be able to showcase how good this guy is. So basically what I'm trying to do today is just show off every aspect of his card, including his defensive capabilities, how hard he can hit much of a difference that super attack um, buff actually makes to the other units and uh, yeah as you can clearly tell I've um, actually used quite a lot of my items up so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to survive for especially against Goku Black but I hope we're gonna be fine I mean we have two units that can debuff so I suppose it's gonna be okay but here we go we should be able to take him out this turn and I mean, unfortunately, he doesn't have the first battle link, so he's obviously not going to be hitting as hard as he um, could have with that link. But he seems to be hitting for around 110k to 120k ish with. Uh, okay, let's go with this. With the boost from the um, double um, lead. Well, it's not exactly a double leader skill, from the boost from both Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, of course. So you can only imagine how hard he's going to hit on that double Super Saiyan 3 Goku lead. And the reason why I'm trying to um, work with Global Lead, so to speak, and how it works there, it's because they were obviously released on Global today, and if you haven't seen it already, I did a summoning video on it, and spoilers, I pulled Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and I thought, you know what, might as well showcase this guy, because I never had the opportunity before, and I, you know, I thought it was the right time to do it. It's a shame that I don't have the medals to awaken my Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, and I don't even have one on Global. So, yeah, that's where the problem lies. And so you can see where we may start to encounter a few problems here, because we literally have, like, no health. So, I may just, you know, go until I die, and then jump back into Boss Rush with, um, what do you call it, with, um, you know, not, not a different team, but, like, the same leads. I don't know, fuck. Okay, here we go, and we should be able to take this stage. Oh. So we should be able to take this stage out without too many problems. Like I was saying before, um, I'll most likely die very soon. Um, if I get lucky, I might survive, but it's more than likely that I am going to die. So if that does happen, I'm just going to start boss rush again, and hopefully I can find that Super Saiyan Free Goku friend, not Angel, of course. Okay, last stage. I am going to go ahead. The thing is, I could get a stun here. You know what? I'm going to be. I'm going to take a risk and hope that he does stun. But keep in mind that he can still lower attack. So even if we don't get super attacked, we should be fine. Okay, so here we go. Chance to stun. It's a high chance. Come on. And okay, we stun. Awesome. But I'm still going to die most likely. Actually, I have an usher. It's going to be close. It's going to be close, and granted I can't show off his defensive capabilities here, but I will do my very best to um, do that once I restart this event, and I probably should have just restarted it, but I wanted to see how well he can do against a stage where um, the boss has a pretty high defense and can hit hard as well. If Goku gets a crit here, or if he stuns, he should be fine. I believe his stun chance is only like 10, 25%, somewhere along those lines. It varies with every unit. But here we go, and I don't think we... Oh, we did get stunned. Wow, we actually got the stun. I think we are going to survive. Damn. That is very surprising to me, and going to keep... Going to continue lowering that attack. Uh, save enough key for Goku. Wow, we can... Watch us die, like, straight away at the start of the next turn. We've made, so, we've made it so far, but we are going to die as soon as we get to that first turn. Or that next rotation. Oh, come on. We are so close to taking this guy out. Damn it. Come on. And I still need to show off the boost that his Super Attack actually gives. So, I don't want to put Super Saiyan 3 Goku in that last slot for now. Oh, what do I do here? Bit risky. But I think 
We've debuffed enough to tank these hits. If I get super attacks, I am dead though. This is it. I am either going to kill this guy right now or I'm going to die. Come on. I mean, I'm going to restart it anyway. But come on, be nice. Be nice to us. Get the crit. I actually need the crit now. Oh, I'm dead. Wow, um, I thought I was going to die, but apparently Goku stunned. Again, I have been blessed. I thought, I literally was about to just like come off the stage. That's why I stopped speaking. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm dead anyway. Might as well just stop speaking. And then, oh, I actually stunned. Bit of a surprise. So we are going to live another day, which is great. And I don't, it doesn't really matter if that was a stun or not because he's already stunned. But we are going to get a Doken mode here. And... I hope <laughs> I'll survive this. Oh, uh, did I seriously just come all this way for nothing? I'm going to get super attacks, aren't I? Oh, wow. Um, this game wants us to keep going. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So, so far, I have shown you guys that he hits for around 100k, but that's on essentially a go tank lead with like an additional 20%, um, 10% rather. But on a double Super Saiyan 3 Goku lead, I would imagine that he can easily hit for around maybe 160k, somewhere along those lines. Which isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world, but the thing about Super Saiyan Blue... Um, Blue. Super Saiyan... Oh, I sounded really French there. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is that, um, on the current Monotech team on JP, is that he doesn't necessarily fit too well. He was in contention for being optimal, and it depends on your team. Like, every single team that you make depends on your box. And, wow, we've got all the health back. And the teams that you build obviously require, well, they are, you build them what based on what is in your box, right? And if you don't have the optimal team, then he is obviously going to be a very good unit. But the reason why he was in contention for being like a very, very good unit on a monotech team is because of his tanking capabilities. And it didn't necessarily, I don't want to say it didn't necessarily work out too well, but there were just better options. You had LR Goku, who, um, with enough ability system buffs. And of course, he already gets his own defensive boost. Is capable of tanking, so that's already one tank in the team that doesn't get a defensive boost from their own passive or anything. So he was already a tank that, well, a potential tank. And then of course he had Vegito, who gave that 30% defensive boost to you know all your units. So that helped other units tanking even more. And of course, with this LR Hercule that's coming out, he could potentially be a great addition to your team, and he's going to allow. Um, he's going to maybe open up the option of running him as a viable tank. But it's not to say that he isn't bad. He is a very good unit. It's just that there are better options. One thing that could have potentially solidified his place in um, the Monotech team is the Fist Battle Link. Because that would have provided him with an additional boost. And I feel like... I'm saying I feel like a lot. If they gave him a higher... Or if they allowed him to give a bigger boost with his super attack mechanic to all your allies obviously I feel like it would have been easier to implement him instead of other units but when you have a unit like Vegito that guarantees that is guaranteed to give that um you know 30% attack and defensive boost with his passive and then he gives an additional 20% uh, when he super attacks it's just like is it really worth running him for that that defensive stats and keep in mind um you can like, do you really need that defense if you can easily blitz any stage with the um, attack damage that you have in your team? You know, it's, it's one of those things, depending on your box, like I said, as always. And um, I feel like defense at the moment isn't exactly essential unless your team isn't that great. So I hope, hopefully I managed to put my point across well enough. Basically, um, he is a very good unit. I would definitely go as far as saying that he is optimal just because... There are other units that are, that are better. It doesn't necessarily mean that he isn't a good unit. He is a very good unit. He is capable of tanking to an extent, especially with any type of advantage. It's just a shame that he isn't as good as he could have been. But I think I've pretty much gone over everything. Um, I still need to um, quickly see how well he can... Or how much of a boost he gives to uh, units like Goku. So I'm going to test his... Actually, this is a bad representation because... Pardon me, Vegito is giving him a boost here. Okay, uh... I'm actually taking my time with this stage. 
Okay, and I've almost lost all my health. Damn. That is what happens when you only have one Super Saiyan 3 Goku to deal with damage. And I took Gotenks out of my team. I don't even know why I took him out of my team, to be honest. Okay, so Goku is going to take him out this turn. And we're most likely going to die next turn. But I think I've put my point across well enough. Basically, um, on the right teams, he does, definitely does have a very good spot in that team. But if you have the optimal team, he isn't necessarily needed. Okay, and hopefully I can actually get this done. Uh, see, that's the thing about this team in particular. In certain scenarios, there are... You know, it doesn't exactly link well. And, and that's one of the other problems. The links in this team have never really been that great since the introduction of, like... Oh, I'm dead. So, I ended up dying, but hopefully I'll put my point across well enough. If you have any questions, if you have any um, corrections for me, do let me know in the comment section down below, as always. But yeah, let me know who you pulled from that guaranteed SSR banner. And I will say that Trunks is the best unit, but Vegeta is still pretty damn good. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.